Hi, in this one we're going to go over what's included in the Highs Bootcamp course and what you're going to get by the end of it. This is a project focused course, but before we get to building the projects, we'll need to learn a little bit about the Highs workflow. So we'll start by installing Highs, learning to navigate its interface, and find out how to set up and manage projects. Then after that, we'll be ready to build our first project, which is a violin sample library. Once we've completed the violin project, we'll then move on to making an audio effect. So this is the violin project that we're going to make, and during the course of it, we're going to learn how to map different samples. So there are three sample sets here. We have pizzicato, then we have staccato, and both the pizzicato and staccato have their dynamics controlled by velocity. So we're crossfading velocity. Give you a little sneak preview here. Where is it? There we go. So we've got two velocity layers. So the velocity is used to select which sample is played. So are we playing the low dynamic sample or are we playing the high dynamic sample? And velocity is also used to apply a volume curve so that the softer we play, the quieter the samples will be. And then we have the sustain articulation and this has dynamic crossfades, which are controlled by the mod wheel. So that's nice, we're going to find out how to do that, how to set up these crossfades, and it's really quite easy to do, and we have a lot of control over it. So this is Aeris, this is the effects project we're going to build, and it's a simple spatial effect, it's basically a stereo widener and a reverb, and we have this audio analyzer in the middle. So you get the idea, it's going to be a fun little project to build, we're going to learn some new stuff about highs when we build this one, including how to use film strip images to set up our GUI controls. So everything on here is done with film strips, we've got a film strip for the button, we've got a film strip or, or an image for the background, and uh, this knob is using a film strip as well. So lots of good stuff to look forward to. I'm also going to show you how to set up DSP networks with Hyze's script node interface. Now even if you're only interested in building instruments, or you only want to know how to make effects, you should still watch both sections in order. Because these projects are not designed to be endpoints for real world products, they're learning exercises. So during the course of building each of them, we're going to cover a range of topics that can be applied to building all kinds of projects in highs, not just instruments and effects. For example, in the Rustic Violin project, you'll learn about creating user presets. And in the Aeris project, we're going to talk about how to apply images to knobs and buttons. And there are lots of other subjects like this that are not tied to one project type or another, but apply broadly to both. After we've completed both projects, I'm going to show you how to build highs from the source code on your operating system. This is a necessary step before we're able to export our projects as plugins, and it will allow you to gain access to the latest highs features and bug fixes that are often several months ahead of the official release versions of Highs. Once we've done that and exported our plugins, I'll show you how to install them and run them. By the end of the course, you'll have a really solid foundation in working with Highs, and you'll be able to start working on your own projects. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one where we'll discuss the licensing.